Welcome back. This is Professor Herning. This will be a video about uh, killing two birds with one stone. In other words, doing two operations with one setting of the slide on a slide rule with the full complement of folded scales. So that's uh, your slide rule should have C, D, and C, I, but also C, F, D, F, and C, I, F. Um, as a disclaimer here, I'm not an expert um, at this. Um, there may be other ways to do this. Um, I really just thought about this this morning and <laughs> came up with a kind of strategy here for how you should do this. Um, perhaps more um, uh, experienced slide rollers can chime in on the comments with their techniques and um, I can see how there, there could be a variety of ways to do this. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see uh, if anybody wants to chime in. Uh, but here is the basic uh, principle you can use. Uh, let's do an example here where I, what I'm going to do is set up 6 divided by 4. So I'm finding oops, 6 on the D. I'm going to do the regular type division by finding the 4 on the C scale. We know the result should be read out uh, here underneath the 1 on the D scale, right, 1.5. Um, but here's the idea. I'll, I'll ignore the intermediate result and imagine that what I had done is I had aligned the 1.5 with the 1 and then come out to the 2. So here I've, I've started at 6, I've divided by 4, and then I've multiplied by 2. And if I align the 2 there, then I get the correct result, 3. Uh, so you can see that um, by imagining that your first you're setting up your first operation so that it ends at one of the indices of the C scale, which is aligned with all these other things. Um, you can do a second operation by going from that index to somewhere else, um, and then not even not even setting the cursor to that index point, uh, which corresponds to the intermediate result. And it's actually okay if that intermediate result is off scale as long as the final result um, is on the scale. Um, so, for example, if I did 6, 6 here, and I lined with the 4, so 6 divided by 4, um, uh, let's, let's do one which is off scale. So let's, let's say 3, 3 divided by 6. Okay. So 3 divided by 6 gets me an off scale result, but 3 divided by 6 times 4 is equal to 2. And that intermediate result could be off scale. Okay. So, basic ideas here is we're going to use um, the C scale for division, like I just did, or the CI scale for multiplication for the first operation, so that the first operation ends at the index of the C scale. And it's okay if that's off scale. For the second operation, we'll move from the index like I just did along the C scale for multiplication or along the CI scale for division because remember the CI scale runs backwards and it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. Uh, you can see the video on basic slide rule use uh, to review that. Um, so right the way I'll use the C and the CI switches for the two things because it's the difference between going from the number to the index or vice versa. Um, now. The important thing about the folded scales is setting the first operation creates the same offset, the same ratio between the scales um, on the folded scales as the regular scales, right? So if you set if you set the ratio to two to one, right uh, down here, then you've also set the ratios to, to two to one on the folded scales. Um, that's important. Remember, they read down, so, so here 8 to 4 is 2 to 1 versus 2 to 1 here. Um, now, um, when you're reading the result, it's important, though, that if you are reading this, the C or the CI scale, that you read the result on the D scale. And if you're reading the CIF or the CF scale, you're reading the result on the DF scale. So you never, you never want to read, when you're doing this type of thing, uh, the folded scales against the regular scales, or you never want to align the folded scales versus the regular scales. Um, you want to do that with operations involving pi. You can see the previous video. Um, but for this, uh, chaining, multiplication, and division, uh, you never want to do that. So think of this red line here as dividing 
dividing the slide rule so you don't do that. Um, now, to make this all work, what you need to do is do your first operation so that the slide uh, sticks out less. <laughs> In other words, right, you want half of the slide uh, on the slide roll. So you don't want it to be out here where you've got all this slide not on the slide roll. You want it to be like this. Um, right? Or you want it to be out the other way. But you want half or more than half of the slide to be on the slide roll. And that is kind of the beauty of the folded scales. That will, uh, most of the time, or almost all the time, if you have pi folded scales, I uh, guarantee that you can do what I'm going to do without uh, off-scale calculation. Um, okay. So let's review here. Um, how am I going to do this? Well, for the first operation, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start on the D scale with the first number. Um, then what I will do is I will... Um, either align with CI or C, depending on whether I want to do multiplication or division. Now, um, if that leaves uh, more of the slide rule sticking out than I want, then I switch to the folded scales. Okay, so for the first thing that you do here, you want to either use D or DF to find the first number, and the one you should choose depends on which one allows you to keep the slide inside the slide rule. Okay? That's, that's the choice that you have to make at the beginning versus uh, folded scales versus non-folded. Okay, so then you align that second number um, using the folded scales or the regular scales and using the inverse scales or the regular C scale, depending uh, on the operation. Then for the second operation, the, what you want to do is move the cursor along the C scale or the CI scale um, or the folded scales. Um, but again, these operations and which uh, scale you should use is reversed. Uh, and then you're reading the results on either the D or the DF scale. And remember, you should never be aligning something on the, uh, on the regular scales to the folded scales, and you should never be reading something um, from a folded scale to a regular scale. Okay, what you're doing is you're jumping, right, both C and D or CI and D um, to the folded versions or back from the folded versions. Um, so let's see. I don't know if we can keep this all on the page. Let's try for this first one. Okay, let's do our first example. Uh, what I'm going to do is 2.1 times 8.5. So I'm going to find the 2.1 here um, on the D scale. Then find 8.5 on the CI scale, remembering that it runs backwards. I remember for the first operation, I want to use CI for multiplication. This, this agrees with just doing one operation uh, in the techniques I taught you before. Um, so I've aligned the 2.1 and the 8.5, and then if I imagine I came out to this, I would find that intermediate result. But what I want to do is I don't really care about the intermediate result. I want to multiply by 7.8. So I want to come out here on C to 7.8. The problem is C on 7.8 is off scale. So what I'm going to do is find 7.8 on CF. Because the numbers on CF versus D are actually the same numbers are aligned as on C versus D. That's the idea of the folded scales uh, for fixing this off-scale problem. Okay, then what I see here is 1, 1 1.1, 2, 3, 9. Okay, and then I've estimated that decimal place. Okay, let's do a second example. I'm just going to have to scroll the page up here. Um, let's do a second example. So I'll do 6.7 times 6.2. All right. So let's find the 6.7. Then I want to find 6.2 on CI, again multiplying. Now you can see what the problem is going to be. When I found 6.2 on CI, I have all of this slide sticking out. And I don't want this scenario, right? I've got this big gap here where there is nothing aligned. Uh, so on, under this scenario, you want to switch to the folded scales if the slide is sticking out like that um, on the right or the left. Okay, so switching to the folded scales, I'm going to find 6.7 on DF. Okay, then on CIF, instead of CI, I'm going to align the 6.2. Remember, it reads backwards just like CI. Um, let's see, here's 6.1, 6.2. Okay. 
So I found that. And then what I want to do is to find the 3.9 on the C scale because I want to do a second operation multiply, right? So I want to find that along C. So let's see if we can find the 3.9 um, along the C scale. Um, you see that on the C F scale, uh, 3.9 is off scale. So I'm going to jump back down to the regular scale to find the 3.9. And when I do that, I want to read the result on the D scale, right? So remember, I jumped back. Uh, down to the regular scales versus the folded scales because 3.9 was off scale over here but I have to be careful and remember that I should read um, the 3.9 on the C scale versus the D scale and not the DF now. Okay so I see the result is 1.5, 6, and uh, 2. So 1, 6, 2. Let's, let's see how good these first two were. Uh, so I have 2.1 times 8.5 times 7.8 Okay, 139, not bad. And then 6.7 times 6.2 times 3.9, 162, pretty good. Okay. Um, now, let's throw in a division here. So here I'll find 1.42. So here's 1.42 there. Then I want to divide by 8. So division for the first operation, you should use uh, the C scale, right? Okay, just like the basic slide rule for the first operation. Um, okay, the, the problem here is if I align the 8, way too much sticking out. So what should I do? Switch to the folded scales. Okay, so find 1.42 on the folded scale, D. Okay, then align 8 on the folded scale, C. Then, result is at the index, but I want to go from the index to 4.5 to do multiplication. So I'm looking for the C scale 4.5 up, up here. And then, since I'm on the folded scale still, I'll read the result against the folded D scale 8. Um, and then, I've got to place a decimal point. Um, let's see, 45 divided by 8 times that should be 8.0 uh, correct decimal placement. Now, um, here's, a, here's a complicated example I'm going to do last. Um, I apologize, there's a lawnmower going outside. Um, for this, how many operations are there? One, two, uh, three, four. Four operations, essentially. I need to do two multiplications and two divisions. Remember this last one is going to be a division two. Don't make an order of operations mistake here. Um, so I'm going to do them in order though. 450 times 940 times 720 divided by 540 divided by 2950. Okay. Uh, the decimal place uh, will be from estimation as usual. Right. See this is about one. This is about a third. Okay. 720. It's going to have three digits like that. Uh, but let's see if we can get uh, the numbers. Okay, so I'm going to do this all with only two settings of the slide. So let's see. Uh, so the first thing is if I set 450 here and I want to multiply by 940, so I'm looking on the CI scale for the 94. Uh, that's way there. I'm going to have all of this sticking out. I don't want that. So I'm going to switch to the folded scales, find the 4.5. Uh, let's see, 4.5 here on D folded. Then I'm going to align the 9.4 on the CIF scale. Okay. Going back to the index here, I uh, should compute the result of that first operation. But I don't want to do that. I want to do another multiplication. So I want to go along the C or the CF scale um, to 7.2. Uh, so let's see. Along the CF scale where I am here, 7.2 is slightly off scale. So I'm going to jump back down and find the 7.2 on the C scale here. Now this intermediate result, uh, basically the numerator, is appearing on the D scale. Okay, so now I have the result appearing on the D scale 
and I'm going to do a sequence of two divisions. Okay, so first division by 540, I'm going to align the 5.4 like so on the C scale to do division. Then moving to the index, and then doing a second division from the index, I need to use the CI scale, right, multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to find on the CI scale the 295. So there's 2, 2, 5, 2, 9, 2, 9, 5. Then the result should be reading on the D scale, since I'm still on the regular non-folded scales, uh, 1.5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 1, 9, 2. Um, let's see how good that is. I have a note here that it's off on the third place. Uh, 450 times 9, 40 times 7, 20 divided by 5, 40 divided by 29.50, uh, 191.18, and so on. Uh, so this last one, as is usual with the small slide rule, is off. Now you might, you might also be off because you've done two settings of the slide, but remember the goal here is to use less settings of the slide uh, to do more operations uh, for improved accuracy. So how can you improve accuracy? Less settings of the slide, and that includes an index swap. So you can do these by index swap also instead of folded scales. Um, but that's going to lose accuracy. Um, and then also, you know, a new alignment of numbers uh, from setting the slide is going to lose accuracy. So see, we're able to do this with only two settings of the slide. Now, I'm not an expert here, and the expert should chime in in the comments if they're watching this. They're probably not. <laughs> but if they are watching this, uh, see, the problem here is the intermediate result of the numerator, the first two operations, was on the D scale. And now, if I'm not, if I'm not going to make an extra slide setting or extra alignment, um, I might go off scale when I align the next operation uh, because I'm stuck on the D scale, right? So that could possibly um, leave more of the slide rule sticking out than you need, then the next thing could be off scale. Now, if you are only doing one more operation, so a total of three operations, you can avoid that, right, by using this original, original method again, and then that intermediate thing is always on scale. But this fourth operation, um, it seems to me, uh, can go off unless you, say, try to reorder these in some clever way. I'd be interested to see what the experts say. Um, but it seems that using the technique I have proposed here, you can always do two operations, multiplication or division. Uh, remember, the principles are, um, well, which scales to choose, right? Which scales to choose. If you need to do the setting of the slide rule so that you have more of the slide rule aligned than sticking out, um, and then you need to make sure that you never uh, read folded scales against the non-folded scales, um, for this anyway, um, or align them. And uh, you switch between the folded and the regular scales as needed. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have some fun with your slide roll.